Hey developers, this is Jamrin guys. So today we will be creating a simple navigation drawer bar with master detail page. In this tutorial, we will be creating a Jamrin form app like this. By going to file, new, project. Here we will be selecting a cross platform app and using a shared project library as we will be using Jamrin live player. And for testing, we can use a portable class library. We need to first go to our project. Here we will be specifically talking about root project, not other projects that are basically targeting Android as well as iOS platform. So I will be minimizing them all. Here I have two folders, menu item for our classes and views for our pages. Here I will be using four view pages which will get navigated towards detail page when an item gets clicked on menu page and each view page contain a single label and containing welcome to fast delivery page or it may be a second lever uh, which may be containing level text as welcome to menus that's all inside the folder called menu items i have one class master page item dot cs it can be created by going to menu items click on add click on class now here i am giving a name as master page item dot cs and click on add it should be public so that it is accessible in menu page and we will be using its properties Class master page item will be useful to hold data and information about our menu item. As you can see, we have three properties for title, icon path and the type properties to hold information about pages that we want to open. This is very important class for next steps in navigation menu implementation. After we have those classes, we can go to the main part in our main page dot jammer as well as dot cs code implementation the parent element is of course master detail page let's minimize it it's our parent element and it contains two child elements they are master detail page dot master and master detail page dot detail let's deep dive into master and detail part as you can see master detail page dot detail it contains navigation page implementation you can add or rewrite your code later let's go to master detail page dot master as you can see inside of master detail page dot master we have content page with one main stack layout as given a vertical option and inside that we have two stack layouts that is one is stack layout dot children and second one is stack layout as given as vertical option first one is for some information at the menu which will be presented above list view menus in this part you can put all kind of elements which you need to have such as like profile images for users emails or any other information for my example code I'm using a single image above my list view at the second stack layout our main part is located we have list view of menu item to show inside of a navigation drawer this is a list view with some properties which we can get around with and then inside our list view we have list view dot item templates as well as uh, we have the data templates for standard binding and main design for menu item is in the stack layout where I have images and level elements with those properties and size in order to make a nice design. Here I have given some gray color to background of list view as well as our master page. Now when we have made XAML part done, we need to insert some data in list view of menu item logic and code for that we will have an code behind file called mainpage.xaml.cs and it look like this. Our mainpage.xaml.cs is inheriting from master detail page as we have one public property which is list of menu page item type and then inside of a constructor after some initialization we are creating some new items as you can see here there are two block of codes for android as well as ios here i am using different 
icons for different platforms and giving a random view for each pages in this declaration of code. For iOS, you can use some different icons from Android Asset Studio or uh, different links. I'll give that link in the description below. Now I need to put those objects inside the menu list and the main step is to set item source of our list view in XAML to be our list of menu page item called menu list. Here I have given binding property to my image with header as well as footer and for footer I have given name as welcome to hotel plaza and given image as web extension. Here I am creating an instance for detail page. It is a simple click handler event that we are going to handle navigation based on user selection in menu list view. If you are reading code from the code behind file, you see the event which is triggered when user select one of the list items. And in our XAML part, this event will make sure to open a new page depending on what we choose to list view. I use some random icons that I generate from Android Asset Studio. It has a lot of great clippers for modern icons but you can use your own if you like your way or you can have another style for icons. We can use some logical name for our pages. When I do initialization of object, I set title to be somewhat uh, similar to the, the respected project. I use some random icons that I generate as from Asset Studio. Here we have to remember one thing is that for iOS images and Android images there is similarity between drawable XSDPI as it is renamed to 2x.png whereas MDPIs are not renamed. Let's compile and run our project. Now let us connect our Xamarin Live Player with Visual Studio. Okay we got connected. Now whether it compiles or not. Okay we got compiled. Our first page is executed whether menu page cuts executed or not okay we got selecting first master part detail part we got second option detail part okay that's fine now now let's execute our android project i have to change that uh, random named views for my different pages as the selected views now let's compile our project whether it gets compiled or not our application is being ready okay I'm using physical device and reflecting using visor. Now our building is started. Okay, our build gets successfully. Did deploy also got successful. Started debugging our application. Now it's going to be started. It should give me a beautiful master detail navigation page. Waiting. Okay, Android application is debugging. Oh, okay, we got our beautiful master detail navigation page okay first selecting first master page okay we got our detail page a second option menu page if you select it and we get welcome to menu that's all thanks for watching developers keep in touch